becoming a chef in Australia. So a chef is responsible for planning and organizing the preparation and cooking of food. They plan menus, estimate food and labor costs, discuss food preparation issues, prepare and cook food, and are involved in many more such tasks. So how do you become a chef in Australia? So to be a chef, you need to complete a Certificate 3 or a Certificate 4 in commercial cookery and need to complete a vocational placement, which most of the time is a one-year course. So some of the colleges that offer chef course are TAFE, CIT Canberra, William Blue, Lake Gordon Blue. Those students who graduate from these colleges can easily get vocational placement in hotels like Hilton, Crown Plaza, Hyatt, Ridges. If you have worked in a similarly multinational hotels in other countries like Dubai, Singapore or even in Nepal, you may have a high chance of getting a job as a cook in one of these hotels. Let us now look at the job outlook. So as of now, around 120,600 people are employed as a chef in Australia. The profession has a weekly earning of around $1,250 and has a future growth of 13.9%. 72% of the total chef population is working as full-time, whereas 25% of the total population of chef is a female. The average age in this occupation is 35. It is expected that by November 2026, the number of chefs are expected to grow strongly and is likely to reach 92,300 by 2026. Now, talking about the earnings, a chef earns up to $62,500 annually in Australia, where the entry-level positions start at $57,473 per year, and the most experienced workers can make up to $82,822 per year. If we look at the job advertised, in the last two weeks, around 7,134 jobs has been advertised on seek.com.au, 1,214 on indeed.com.au, and 10,958 jobs in jora.com.au. So in conclusion, Chef is a promising career in Australia. They can work in restaurants, cafes, hotels, hospitals, aged care centers, and many more places, and earn handsome earning. Mechanical Engineering Career in Australia So mechanical engineers are those who apply their skills to design, develop, and test all sort of mechanical devices, tools, engines, and machines, and solve problems. So if you are passionate about machines, then this career might be for you. So let's discuss about the mechanical engineering career in Australia. According to emelement.com, Australia is the second highest paying country for mechanical engineers. So at first, let us talk about the demand of mechanical engineers in Australia. So according to Job Outlook, more than 50,000 of people are already employed in mechanical and industrial engineering sector. Also, according to Job Outlook, 8,000 Vandapani body industrial mechanical reproduction engineering jobs are created by 2023. So, what are the jobs after bachelor's? So, these are some of the jobs a mechanical engineer can do after their bachelor's senior manager. Mechanical Design Engineer, Plant Mechanical Engineer, Production Engineer, Reliability Engineer, Project Manager, Junior Manager, CTO, and many more. So, average salary kukura kono according to seek.com.au, the average salary of a mechanical engineer is between $80,000 to $130,000 annually. Most experienced workers can make up to $148,955 per year. So mechanical engineers are required every 18 months about 12% salary increase when they 
अब नंबर्स अफ जब एडवर्टाइज को कुरा करनु पर्दा लास्ट 14 डेज भित्र सिक डट कम डट एयू मा 6891 जब्स पोस्ट भएको छ इन्डी डट कम डट एयू मा अराउंड 315 जब पोस्ट भएको छ भने जोरा डट कम डट एयू मा 4431 जब्स पोस्ट भएको छ सम अफ द युनिभर्सिटीज अफरिङ ब्याचलर्स इन मेकानिकल इन्जिनियरिङ आर the University of Melbourne, the University of Sydney, the University of New South Wales, the University of Western Australia, the University of Queensland, University of Wollongong. So conclusion ma banda kiri, mechanical engineers or kulagi, Australia is a great place. There is a high demand of mechanical engineers and the salary is promising too. So if you have mechanical engineering related, keep any confusion or keep any queries, comment down below. Things you must know if you want to study agriculture in Australia. So if you do food, fiber, bioenergy, supply chains, environment protection, plantation, related subject or interested in agriculture is a good career choice. Since Australia ma agriculture could demand pani dete cha you won't regret choosing agriculture so demand ko kura garnu parda according to graduate careers australia australian national economy ko major contributor bane ko agriculture ro agriculture and its related industries support 1.6 million australian jobs the majority of agriculture career options in australia are found in the private sector, including agribusiness, private consultancies, and laboratories. So, what after studying agriculture? Tapaile afno bachelor's agriculture ma gornu boye bani. Tapaile future ma your roles ma kam gorna sakno nesa. Farm manager, horticulturist, biotechnologist, agronomist, biosecurity officer. Agricultural consultants, agricultural engineers, agricultural scientists, agricultural technicians, agricultural and forestry scientists, and many more. So salary ko kura garnu parda kheri. Euta agriculture graduate ko starting salary will start around $50,000 to $60,000 per annum. Your salary can rise above $70,000 per annum after 2 to 3 years of experience in agriculture. So jobs advertise ko kura garum. For the past 14 days, seek.com.au ma around 3092 jobs post poe ko tha. Indeed.com.au ma 474 jobs post poe ko tha. And Zora.com.eu ma 5,242 jobs post by Gota. So if you're interested in studying agriculture, these are some of the universities offering bachelors in agriculture in Australia. University of Southern Queensland, Charles Strutt University, University of New England, University of Adelaide, Latrobe University, and many more. So this was about agriculture in Australia. Conclusion ma bannu parda, agriculture is a great career choice for you in Australia. Since the Australian economy depends upon agriculture, there will be plenty of jobs for you in the future.